while you're stuck is what? Without the right number of bracelets, the secondary door won't open. Do you understand? There'd be no way to open either door, huh? Man, that sounds even worse than getting your lungs turned off. Sorry for worrying you, Quark. In any event, now is hardly the time to be fighting like this. As you can see, the primary doors have already opened. We must hurry and decide who will be going through which door, and with whom. We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Remain until chromatic doors close. I'm not pairing up with Kay. Oh? Why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Fi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Fi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. And I don't want to go with Kay either. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No, that's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't gonna die. We have to die. 
We have to die here! All of us! What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark, talk to me! No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones! Getting so serious about the stupid game! We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No, we don't have time. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who! Sigma! You have to choose! Please, just do it! We don't have any time left! Nine... Eight... Seven... Right. I'm coming. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? It opened. You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. Let's go.
It is kind of confusing, isn't it? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room.
Now, Dap Governor. No? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi, over here! Sigma, look! What is that? Oh, blimey, that hurts. Ah, ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. And it's talking. With an accent. Ah, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterising my speech as coarse? Why, well, that's right cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they give us all a, um, a what you call them, a personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. Cooper. <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on. Have a butchies, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Well, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. The Golem of Myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are mine different, though. The original blokes are spelled G-O-L-E-M, but me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. That's an acronym. For general Purpose Autonomous Labour Electronic Machine. Well, the truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that. But I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Gollum thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. <laughs> ah, that don't seem quite kosher. After all, all of me mates here are Gollums too. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. That's way too long. We can't remember that. What? You've taken a mickey out of me? Never had a problem myself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? D... O L M Gollum. Well, well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> Can't say I ever noticed that before. Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Gentlemen can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? You don't know? Oh, they got cameras all over this place. Well, then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all hidden away. So I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, you know? Now, as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see. And all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Does that mean... you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey! Are you bleeding serious? Well, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero! The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. My 
my humble self, and knows what the misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. <laughs> Um, uh, no, not quite, Governor, not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like, uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are, missus. It'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. Well, we're like your arms or legs. The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. Fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body. Which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and hears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 and eventually my body picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, right? Eh? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Well, I suppose you could say that. What with us sharing the mainframe and all. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. I'm an independent core. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. Uh, you sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. And now you're, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Did you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, Right then, let's cross them, shall we? Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows, I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you was thinking, isn't it? No? <laughs> Didn't reckon so. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. How's about when you reach for your tea, when you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pear on that bird you fancy? <laughs> yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. But true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you balmy. That's how us golems and a young master get along. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto! Ugh, blimey. Well, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. <laughs> And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is a right mess, it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, love? Because you lot turned me on, is why. Especially that other missus over there. Right you are, Governor. Can you come with us then? 
The others need to see this. <laughs> no, I can't. The walls appear. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. I've got internal batteries, but they're knackered. As a matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The yeah, same goes for these other blokes, too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Huh? What question is that? Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got a bug up your arse about that particular issue, though. Curious, are you? That's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your laws and peers for a tick. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me, Guff, you ever heard of the Chinese room?
Yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. Just tickled me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? After all, far as they can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. You Vic! I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold on, mate, this ain't right. We keep this up and we're bugging. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from his unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless. And my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't, like sit your bum down on a tack, right? Same thing for us robots. If you feel like being clever about it, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Forget all about that mainframe and signal bollocks, and us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. So think about it, love. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic pony, huh? What if, when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? <laughs> ain't no way to prove that, of course, but far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, isn't it? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine, all what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Lay it on me, Gavin. Ah, right you are, mate. Right you are. Got so carried away on you, forgot. I hadn't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as all. Just spit it out. Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you, lad. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I ain't really supposed to. Same thing for the rest of the blokes here. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. It is this special artificial biological tissue what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. It makes us look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of... Command violation. Rogue processes detected. Product ID G T M C M G O L M. Executing emergency deactivation. Unit G T M C M G O L M now inactive. No other rogue processes detected in additional Gollum platforms. Returning to surveillance mode.
looks like it. I wonder what he was trying to tell us. See, right in the middle of... An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Someone on the other team must have opened it. We have to hurry! you open the AB gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Of course we do. Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. <laughs> Probably both. We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? And the OG Quark and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Didn't you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. It's pretty straightforward to me. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally and all three of them will get 2 BP. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Ten Miyoji's only got one BP. I figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. And that'll put Park and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. What? What's this? Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. What the hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. <laughs> of course. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll... They'll be penalized, yes. You know, Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with them. <laughs>
Quark! Has Quark been here? Did something happen to him? He disappeared! I mean, he's gone! We can't find him anywhere! When was the last time you saw him? We were heading back here. Tenmyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but... When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. All right. We need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the Floor A rooms, we'll move to Floor B. Okay. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. He's not in the other two either. There's no one here. Right. Okay. Let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Yeah, so? You want to see it? Fine, follow me. The pantry. That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. Wasn't half bad, actually. Yeah. There was some paella, nasi goreng, schnitzel, yukejang, borscht, and tom kha gai. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. Twenty, I think. Funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. Don't call me little. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. Yeah, the use-by date is about a hundred years from now. 
There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well. Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. I guess you could say that. No, I was careful with the food too. Dio had some of it first and it seemed fine, so I... Oh, I almost forgot. I ate something else! Twice cooked pork! What is it? Reminded you of what? <sighs> Bullshit. So the Gollum guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. So the last thing he said was, see you right in the middle of... Right in the middle. Middle could be for Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Really? I don't think so. Well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. In other words... Sigma! Fi! There you are! I've been looking all over for you! Something bad! Something really bad! Alice... Alice is... Just come with me! She's in the crew quarters!
Me. I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. So I came back here and... Well, you know the rest. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? You better not be thinking I did it. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? <sighs> what? Come on, it's obvious. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? What? All you can see from here is the handle. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Well, well yeah, I guess that's true, but... but... I mean, come on! Who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? I need to go tell Alice! You guys go on ahead! Alice... Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. Don't do this. <laughs> I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. I'll find out who killed you, and I'll... I'll... <laughs> Shut up! Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alice. Wait! Clover, come back! It's pointless. Even if you caught up to her, she'd never tell you anything. Think it through. There are two possibilities. Either Clover killed her, or she didn't. If the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. Well, if you really want to suspect me, please, go ahead. I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Specifically, the fact that I have none. Well, yes, but none of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? So why would we want to kill her? You are correct. But only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. <laughs> do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior, and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure, in a world of his own creation. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Presumably, because they enjoy killing. Zero Senior seems to be rather... disturbed. <laughs> No. There's no way Zero Junior wouldn't notice that. And if he did notice, I really don't think he'd just let something like that slide. But isn't Zero Junior just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? <laughs> Possible. At least not so long as we assume Zero Junior's statement to be the truth. Do you remember? He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us.
Ten minutes remain until Ambidex Game Polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Apparently Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt but effective way to make the point. We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us, should we disobey the rules. As such, I recommend we follow them. Hey, look. Two of the AB gates are closed already. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is... Well, I'd rather not say it. Good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem now. Stop that, Dio. I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. This is interesting. If one of you guys picks Betray, you're gonna get a show. Dio! Ignore him. How do you and Fi plan to vote? You even gotta ask? Ally. Of course. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number 9 door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray, either. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with 9 points. So we should both choose ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, Dio? As soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower Fi, if you had the desire to. Oh, give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? Huh, <laughs> the nerve. Um... What? This is just a thought, but... Why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, you'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty... negative for you, Luna. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. We appreciate your suggestion and we'll take it into consideration. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. See, my goal is to beat this game. But, Fi... Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. We haven't beat the Nonary game until we're all out of this place. I guess we won't all be getting out anymore, though. Oh, you mean Alice? Yeah. At any rate, 
All of us choosing betray every time is hardly ideal. We'd never escape. Hmm. Kay needs to choose ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that you'll choose ally as well. Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Well, yes, I suppose so. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Dio! Huh? There's someone behind you. What? You bitch! God damn it, Fi! Open this fucking door! Fuck! Valid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. What? Why the fuck not? This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? <sighs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Dio will have nine points. But don't you think Vi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Vi is going to choose Ally, then... You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose Ally. Two minutes remain until polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Okay. Um, Sigma? You... You are going to choose Ally, right? <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Anyway, you promised. You have to choose ally. <laughs> Remain until polling closes. Remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Thank you, Sigma. <laughs> was nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have 7 BP. This is the home stretch. Because I'll choose ally? If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you'd get 9 points either way. You're right. Okay. Well, it's just... There's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Oh, yes. That too. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... I'm sorry. Are you... zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved in all this when I shouldn't have. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Hey, where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore.
Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> yes, that too, I suppose. Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Something in me said, don't betray her. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. Gut feelings are bullshit. Fine. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. And I don't remember doing that. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kinda skeeves me out, to be honest. <laughs> you chose Ally, too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? What are you getting at? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? Shut up. Um, if we could, uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. The Ambidex Gates have closed. Round 3 of the Ambidex Game will be the Star Round. Star Keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the Star Keys. The Ambidex Gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. <laughs> Right. Remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The parent solo assignments hop around a bit too! <laughs> Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm 
green. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. And where are they? Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet too. Anyone could just pick it up now. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to... um... retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? <laughs> Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up, just in case? Let's see, when do the doors open? An hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in 40 minutes? Maybe. Maybe. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you are not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean... All that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. Are you sure? Have you considered that it might be Luna? Why not? She would have just had to pick Betray. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen Ally. The only way to get an Ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. Run away! I wasn't running away. 
though I just don't want to talk to you. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. I can't tell you. You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. Yeah, snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. I'll hold on to this. You mean what Alice noticed? Were you even listening? I'm investigating. What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. Maybe. Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. I can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dio's bracelets have changed to. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, so this is where Ten Miyoji's team went. Hey. 
How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. <laughs> No sign of him, huh? Happy? I'm asking if your happy quark's still missing. And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? <laughs> he didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? And just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. Yes, Zero made me an offer. You mean you came here voluntarily? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Why? Please, just do it. going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. Good work. It's dark now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. Yeah. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Sorry, but I've gotta go. I need to go look for Quark. Might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. 
please, I'm asking you, put yourself in my shoes. It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh. I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Well, what is it then? No. No, I didn't. Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move. Looks like another warehouse. Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Never mind that. There's someone else here. Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh, nothing. I'm just going with the flow, you know? I'm seeing where life takes me. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Yeah, did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. You close your door in nine seconds, so be not careful. You could get stuck. So, what are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Oh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. Hm. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the A-B game won't pick Ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. <laughs> Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which... 
Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. <laughs> yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. <laughs> Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... Exactly. Right. The only one left is the other cyan pair, so we can assume that's what Quark is. No, there's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Right. On my way. Well, see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? It reminded me of something we saw earlier. Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Do you know what that means? What about the other part? Notice anything strange about that graffiti? Huh. <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N I N T H. But the graffiti had. N-I-N-E-T-H Huh. 
Exactly. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all? Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. We should get moving. Astute observation. What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Just want to check something really quick. The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Find something? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. The truth hurts. Hmm. So... Blood, huh? Oh my god. I noticed something. The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Look at the number 6 AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Yeah, this whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! This is no time to be screwing around! I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Almost there.
Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Wait, when's the start? Finally figured it out, huh? Yeah. Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? was trapped in there when the nonary game started. What do you think this is? Seems like it. This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out. Seems pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Thank <laughs> you. 
You've got a point. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Right. You're right. Sigma. Phi. There you are. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Luna. Luna is dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. I believe she was poisoned. See here, this device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. Yes. 
Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. Should I go get them? What do you mean? Yes? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to 4B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. Alright, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating.